Hi and welcome to my office. Uh, this is my second video um, blog series that I'm doing and I'm really excited. Um, I just wanted to mention a few things about pricing because I blogged about it last week and we had a really good response and so um, I realized that I could probably say this a lot faster than I could type it. So um, I just want to talk about three different ways that we um, help make our pricing less awkward because pricing for a lot of photographers is really awkward to talk about not only with their clients but with other photographers too. When we sit down in coaching sessions that's the number one thing people ask about is what do my prices look like are they too low are they too high how do I structure it how do I present it and so we are going to hopefully answer a few of those questions today um, and then provide you with another solution at the end so the first thing I want to talk about is the three ways that you can make pricing less awkward in your business and number one is um, we don't ever talk about pricing in person. We always talk about it online or through an online booking proposal or through email. But when I'm actually with my KJ brides and my KJ grooms, um, I just never talk about pricing. I never talk about the budget. I never talk about money. And so when we are together, their experience with Michael and I in person is always fun. It's always a lot of fun being with us. We never have to talk about that nitty gritty stuff. Now, I don't do a lot of in-person consultations. I know a lot of you do. Um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, how you can make it a little bit more professional. Um, but for those of you who do book online, and those of you who do processing online, you know what I'm talking about. It's nice to not have to worry about talking about money. And so even if you are doing consultations, that's totally fine. I think it's smart. Um, we're just weird that we don't do many of them. Um, but when we do, I try to make sure I let them talk about themselves because when people talk about themselves first, um, you just break down walls and it lets people in. And so that actually leads me to my second point um, where you want to start with you. So. If people are worried about maybe you're too expensive or maybe uh, you just don't fit in the budget and they're not really sure if you're the right fit for them financially, you don't want to start your pricing guide with numbers. I mean, if you send them a PDF or a Word document or just attach your, your pricing uh, to an email somehow and it starts with numbers and just your logo, um, you're not winning them over. You know, you're not showing them, hey, this is why you need to book us because we are more than just photographers. We're really awesome people. Um, you want to make sure that you show them who you are and why you're passionate about what you're doing because that's where a lot of the value is. Uh, I tell people all the time that there's so much value in who Michael and I um, are in our business. If you took us out, you would lose a lot of the value. And so you want to make sure that you show yourself and your passion and your vision behind why you run this business first instead of just jumping into numbers. Same reason why when you sit down in a consultation, you let your client talk about themselves first so that you don't get straight into business. So your pricing guide should be exactly the same way. So the next thing is you wanna make sure you look legit. So imagine I'm charging all this money to shoot weddings and um, a bride inquires and they see a really pretty website and then you send them this really ugly plain text document with your pricing on it. I mean, maybe you have a logo and maybe you have some colors from your brand built in, but ultimately your pricing guide isn't very impressive. Um, that's probably not good. You're not really showing them, hey, this is, this is how much she charges, but look how amazing these pictures are. Look how professional this pricing guide is. I just have to have her. That's what I want people to feel. And so for Michael and I, our pricing guide starts with a page just about us. Get to know us. If you've never heard of us, here are things you should know. And then you turn the page and it talks about our philosophy and our process. And then you turn the page and it talks about um, the actual wedding experience. And that's the first time that they see the numbers. That's the first time they see anything about money is after they've gotten to know us and then they've gotten to know our business and then we present them with the wedding experience. Um, and then we have a few other pages um, that help them get educated on what we have to offer and all that good stuff. So there's a few things that I have realized in the photography industry that are issues with photographers through coaching. People always ask me the same thing and um, they don't really know how to display their pricing the right way. They also don't know how to create simplified packages um, and they also don't know when is the right time to raise their prices. So we spent a lot of time during coaching sessions talking through all sorts of things. So Michael and I have actually created a solution for this, we hope. Um, it's a really awesome resource that we're uh, introducing in the collection. And basically we're taking all those problems and we're giving people a Caitlin James Photography pricing kit. 
So not only do you get our guide, so you're going to get our pricing guide where you can read through everything that we send to our brides, but we're actually giving it to you in template form so that you can download it and you can make it your own just by inserting images and tweaking a few things in the content to make it sound like you. But basically we're handing over our pricing strategy and our pricing structure in template form so that all types of photographers can have high-end pricing guides that look legit and look professional um, because there's nothing worse than sending a pricing guide over to a bride that doesn't look as professional as what you really are. Um, and so we're giving the pricing guide but the other half of the kit is the What You're Worth ebook. Um, and I'm really excited about this because basically what I did is I took all of the information and all the content that I share during coaching sessions and I put it in ebook form. And the reason that's exciting is because I know that not everyone will get to do coaching in this room with us and I know that not everyone will get to come to a workshop. And so I want to make our pricing education available for everybody. Um, so the What You're Worth ebook uh, talks about things like avoiding the dead zone and the three E's um, of pricing and when to raise prices and it explains our theory behind our prices and our pricing structure with the wedding experience package. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, I hope that you can at least walk away from today with three ways to make your pricing a little bit less awkward. So just to recap those. First thing is, don't talk about it in person. Leave all the money stuff, all the invoicing, all the payment online. Second thing is, start with you with your pricing guide. Introduce you and your passion and your vision for your business first so they fall in love with you and that adds value before they see the numbers. Um, and last but not least, you need to look legit. You need to look professional in the way that you present your pricing because that's the hardest part of the sell is when you send the pricing guide and they're a little shocked by your prices, but if you look professional and you present yourself in a really awesome way, they're going to hook, they're going to buy. Um, and so I'm really excited about this. I hope that the KJ pricing kit is helpful for you. And so the first uh, 250 that we sell are discounted. So um, get yours while they're still discounted. We're really excited. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.